Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Today in this video, uh, we are going to see uh, HTTP get, get globe. So before that, um, let me give you a small background about what is a web service and uh, what is the need for the web service and how can we consume the web service in our uh, IBM I server. So as we know, like web service, service is something like uh, a service offered through web. So it's kind of a two more question. So, uh, which means, uh, okay, we have an API available in the web and using uh, the HTTP uh, get method or whatever the method, uh, we are able to get the data, okay. So, for example, uh, if we go to the internet, right, so whatever we are doing on the day-to-day -day activities, everything is actually uh, in, a, is a, in a HTTP request. So, if you go and then uh, simply says uh, uh, HTTP, yes, example dot com so we are seeing uh, some web page so for us it's actually a web page but actually what happened is actually we have requested a HTTP get request for this example dot com and then the server did, uh, returned us the uh, data and the data is actually uh, visible in this uh, HTML format so just because the browser is able to uh, render the HTML element in, into this uh, beautiful uh, website we are able to see that but actually what happens is actually um, it is not in this format so for example if I am taking the same uh, example.com and maybe I am having a tool called postman which is a tool used to uh, to, to request the HTTP uh, requests to test uh, web service those steps okay so i'm going to say i'm going to get uh, https example.com and then i'm going to click send so what eventually happens is actually uh, you can see this particular page appearing but it's in preview format if you go to pretty or even the raw you're going to see some uh, html content so which means the server is actually returning us the html data and then the html data is being transformed to a web page that's what we are seeing so if i give an another example uh, so i in my terminal okay uh, i have something called curl so curl is actually used to uh, again send the http uh, requests so by default curl is set to get so i'm, I'm not going to specify anything so i'm going to say curl uh, https uh, example.com so what you will eventually see is actually a get request uh, sent to the server and the server returned us the data so this is actually a general example right but in our case what is going to happen is uh, assume we need to consume an API which is available over uh, the web okay so obviously we need to use the HTTP methods to request and then get the data so if you want to give a, a small example so I can go and see this one okay uh, fixer.io so this is one one of the uh, currency uh, conversion APIs available uh, over the internet it was free initially uh, even now also it's free but uh, we need to have a API key for accessing this but for our example we are not going to use access, uh, API key so for example I'm just going to say get HTTPS this particular thing okay so I'm just going to directly put this thing in the browser and then see what happens so basically it tells uh, we are missing access, uh, access key okay so the same applies but eventually what happened is actually we retrieved the data okay the server responded with the this information and we are seeing this in our browser so now enough of the general information let's go to our IBMI and then check whether we are able to do this in our server so I am going in okay so before that so uh, we have a Scott uh, HTTP LIB open source which is very uh, useful and easy to use here. Uh, library which contains a lot of methods to consume the web services but again it's open source right so we have a native solution uh, which, wa which was introduced to us in 2016 okay in uh, as a dbt see db2 U udf okay user different function okay so that is will, that is available in systools uh, library okay so if you want to check whether your your system is having that or not you can issue this command okay uh, select star from uh, sys f u n c s sys functions so normally any uh, user defined functions will be available in this particular uh, table okay if you want to select our own so what we need to give uh, select uh, sys functions where specific schema, schema equal to sys tools so if you come down right uh, you should be able to see these http base methods again if you go to right uh, we should be able to see yeah so these HTTP uh, functions so today we are going to talk about the HTTP get globe this is actually used to, to uh, send the HTTP get request and then uh, get the response back so okay so whatever the examples we, we have just seen uh, with uh, the browser and then the postman tool we are going to directly execute in this thing so before that let's see the syntax 
so syntax is something like this okay so if you want to uh, something like okay sys tools dot http get globe okay this is the uh, function it takes two uh, parameters one parameter two parameters so first one is actually the url which we want to consume and the second is actually the http headers so uh, http uh, request will be going to the server with some headers but as of now we are going to pass headers as blank which means the default headers but uh, in in case of some web, uh, web services which requires a user id password or uh, setting asking us to set the application content le type length those stuffs right we need to specify that in the http headers so now we can leave it as blanks so this is the uh, way method we need to consume the uh, get request okay so i have given a sample here so let's take the same sample of what we have just seen okay so select data from so this whole function right from here to here that is a dynamic uh, table creation as, say for example and then we are telling this table name as access or you can have uh, whatever name you want maybe okay and then this comes as a data so this data is actually equivalent to this data okay whatever you have the value here you have to specify it here also okay so select data from values i am converting into a character of whatever i have just said so this tools dot http get loop then i am passing the parameter uh, i mean the url then uh, a blank uh, header then uh, the, the the total response i am trying to convert that to a character so that i can see that in the uh, uh, interactive str scale screen okay because this http get globe normally will be uh, uh, seen or useful in the uh, system my navigator uh, ren sql uh, command okay if you want to see that in native like str sql uh, the screen screen uh, stuffs uh, you need to convert that output into a character so i'm just having a character in in front of it okay so this is just a uh, uh, length uh, how much character i want to change I can specify four zero nine six whatever. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So I'm pressing enter. So it's going in, taking for some time, and finally yes. So we got the result. Okay, so this is what we have just seen in the web, and it just received as well. So uh, pretty much uh, it seems uh, straightforward uh, when we use uh, simple examples, but it may get complicated uh, when you want to pass the HTTP headers. So we can pass HTTP headers only in the form of XML. So uh, I will cover maybe that in the another video. But for now, I can give you a link in the description which gives. you the sample uh, programs or the methods how we can use uh, with this http get globe uh, with all the things but uh, finally what i'm going to say is uh, program so instead of uh, like uh, interactively seeing the result uh, i have written a small program uh, which takes the url as input and then gives as the output in ifs format ifs folder okay so before i see i show you the coding so this is the program tst http get so i'm going to call and show you the results tst http get param so it takes one parameter so in this case what we are going to do uh, differently uh, we have just seen this thing right okay cool so what happens if we give the example.com https uh, example.com okay so i'm just passing the example.com as url and you see the result comes so it comes in the http uh, get res.txt because this is the file in which i am storing the result and you are seeing it okay so let us check another example uh, i have just come across from one blog uh, this one okay so let's see what it gives in the url first then we'll see and so if i give this thing right so it, it is giving me a result of a simple json okay uh, if i take this out Uh, okay if i give only slash pets it gives three output and i can choose the pet whatever i want maybe if i give three i should be able to get the fish so slash three i am getting fish so we are going to use this url and test our program so i am copying this uh, going here and then here and then here i am pasting it and then i am just coming in yeah okay so first i am going to give pets then let's see what happens it runs and then gives me the three results okay see uh, in all the examples it is reusing the same uh, text file what i have so if i want to give uh, only uh, slash 3 say for example okay it should give only, only the fish yes it does so it works so now let's see uh, how the code looks looks like okay and um, 
yeah so this is the program so what you have seen is it, it, it gets one parameter which is the url and it thinks the http header is always blank okay and then it uh, sends the request and gets the response and then produces the response in that uh, ifs folder let's go and see so what i have done so i have a simple uh, command as a procedure which is actually uh, based on the qcmdxe just to run some cl uh, commands and then i have some uh, local variables okay uh, this is the url i am getting the url and then command response position whatever okay so here uh, is what the url uh, the, the the yes the url is received in the param, uh, variable called url and then i am just doing some uh, scanning and substring just to get rid of the spaces I am scanning the last uh, space and then I am just doing a substring. Okay, so it happens. So finally, uh, this is the important step. Okay, so to to make our uh, HTTP GET globe to run uh, without any problem, we should run our thing in a uh, CCID 37. Okay, so I am just doing that uh, by doing a change job uh, CCSID 37 and then I am executing that particular command in this uh, line. Okay then that's it so we have set up the environment so next thing is actually the sql stuff so sql commit none and then i'm dropping a qtem table tem temporarily and then i'm creating the qtem table with one column called data with uh, the length of 4096 say for example and then i have a declare cursor c1 okay and for the, here is our actual uh, sql uh, code goes okay so select data from value scare and then we are using this uh, variable url inside the uh, sql okay and that's it so then uh, i'm just opening this particular uh, cursor c1 and then fetching c1 into the response response is my local variable and then once i got the data in the response i'm just inserting the response into the qtemp uh, response uh, file so now even you can think we just ran the programs right so this qtemp response should be available so if you go shift f9 Okay, run query q temp response. Okay, see the data is something like this. So I'll tell why it is like this later. As of now, okay, the, the, the like this only the data will come into the uh, q temp uh, uh, file. And once I have the f data in q temp, then our usual copy to IMPF. I'm just converting that uh, PF data into a IFS folder using copy to IMPF. Uh, is re all regular stuffs. And then I'm executing this command to make this works okay and then finally just to display it for our reference i'm just doing a display file uh, for our the ifs folder in which we received it and i'm executing it okay so yeah pretty much this is what i'm uh, doing in the http uh, sim simple program so that's what you have seen so the reason why i have done the copy to mpf because uh, when we get the data right which means uh, the, 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 this one so if, in all the end of the uh, line side right, there will be a uh, carriage written uh, available so that's why when you s uh, run query it right you are seeing uh, a response with this kind of stuffs uh, anyway uh, if you if you want to see this without this right there is another trick so if you give work link uh, qsys.lib i hope you are aware of this format okay and then uh, qtemp.lib and in the inside the qtemp we have a response dot file slash uh, response dot member it should be we should be able to see it in whatever the way we are uh, looking for so this is actually opening the, up the file in the ifs mode anyway so this is the pretty much of i wanted to cover in this video so what we have just learned uh, we have learned the http get globe function uh, in the ibmi which is comes uh, as a one of the native approach via db2 uh, udf and using which we can call the http uh, uh, web services but again as i said it gets a little bit of complicated coding when we need to pass the headers and then when we want to do the post and then put delete those uh, http methods maybe we will cover those things in the later part of video uh, but as of now uh, this video this is all about this http get function so that's it for this video and i hope this helps and gives you some uh, information about uh, the native functions so probably in the next video i want to move some words towards the subfile because there are some requests uh, regarding the uh, subfile exchange and then a subfile drop those stuffs so it will be uh, on the subfile portion for some times and then we'll come back to the uh, any other topics later so anyway thanks for watching uh, leave me in the comment section if you want to have any other uh, topics 
and see you in the next time thanks for watching bye bye